everybody welcome back to my channel i'm here i know you guys just saw me yesterday <laughs> i'm back all right we are gonna plan for the rest of september that's what we're gonna do so we only have three to lay down only have three to lay down um and yeah look at the washi look at the washi it's amazing but i already told you that last month when this when this palette was up so we're just gonna plan for the last three weeks i kind of know how i already want my spread but you know this by being here in um yesterday's video wow could not could not for the life of me think what i was like trying to say could not wow that was that was that was awful man brain I get that it's it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon, but come on, like, um, yeah, like, come on, <laughs> that thing. So, um, anyways, well, I got text messages coming in from this way and that way and and everything. So, yeah, jeez. Life is just hectic. Um, and I'm sure life is he is hectic for you. Every Everywhere is just hectic. So, let's see. So, I'm going to kind of do what I just did yesterday. If you missed yesterday's video, I released the um, October 2023 monthly functional sub. So, you got to see all those colors and watch me play out just functional stickers for way too long. I really try to put my videos pretty quickly um and whatnot so but yeah um what was it what was it my kids were asking about the other day and now I can't remember man I, I went in so I took a little break after the video because I do all of my filming of videos on one day I know I'm crazy it my brain stops starts to forget stories and and what we've done and things like that but you know it is what it is by the very last video i'm very much like uh hey thanks for being here <laughs> yeah it's so not cool um but you know <laughs> nervous laughter insert nervous laughter um oh what were my kids and i talking about the other day oh it was last night okay so my husband and i were getting ready to head back out to return the rental car. So we had already gotten the rental car. Um, so we do rental cars every other week for my husband and son to drive to um, his Taekwondo studio because it's in another state and why put the mileage on, on uh, your vehicle when you can just rent a car, right? But we are also in the market for another vehicle and we can't decide what we want well i guess technically we're kind of in the market for two vehicles um my husband needs a new vehicle and my son who's 17 and about to get his license needs his vehicle as well so is this the fifth one yeah that's the fifth one okay so no more no more no more we're good um uh so Anyways, I digress. Uh, he has his, um, he needs a vehicle for his stuff. And so we're kind of in the market for two vehicles. So one of the reasons why we had decided to start doing rental vehicles was so that we could actually kind of like test drive over a, like a long distance period. Like how comfortable is it to sit in? What are the blind spots like? You know, all those things. And, um, and then also to, you know, see what like the gas mileage is like, you know, basically how does the, how does this vehicle function as a vehicle in everyday scenarios? Um, so we had already had the um, rental car booked for this, this weekend. And then we got an email like a couple days before saying hey you know taekwondo is not gonna be happening this weekend because of labor day um we'll see you guys all you know next week that type of thing uh and um 
my husband was like, well, crap, we already booked, booked the hotel. We already booked the, um, the rental car. And I was like, let's cancel the hotel. Cause you guys aren't going to go obviously. So let's cancel the hotel, which in hindsight, we probably should have just rescheduled it, but whatever. Um, let's, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's also, you know, let's keep the rental car. Let's see what we get. Cause the last time we did it, um, we ended up getting a uh, Toyota Sienna hybrid minivan um, and they loved it. They loved driving in it. And so when we went to go do this again, they were like, well, I wonder what, what vehicle they'll give us this time. They got another Toyota hybrid um, minivan, which was nice. So we spent the weekend as a family um, you know, perusing in this car, enjoying this car, um, all of that stuff and, um, and everything. So the family vote is to get another minivan, <laughs> which is fine because I mean, we have such a big van as it is right now. Um, so that's like completely fine. Um, but it's just so funny that all of the kids are like, yeah, let's get this. Yeah, let's get that. So, um, but anyways, um, so we are, you know, we're using it as a time to test out different vehicles. Um, the very first time we did it, my husband, because he's a dude and he's a dude, um, was offered a Camaro. Um, and the way the rental car companies work, especially where we're at, is if if you book an economy and they don't have any economy vehicles left, they will give you what they have at the economy price, which is really, really nice. That is how we've been able to score two minivans in a row. Um, so that has, has been a really nice thing. Um, but the very first time we we did this, and this is when they were out, um, you know, looking at studios in the state and kind of, you know, spending a whole weekend there trying out different studios and stuff like that. Um, uh, he got himself, because like I said, once again, that's my husband. He's a dude. And two, he's a dude. Uh, got a Chevy Camaro because that's all they had left. Well, it was between a Nissan Titan, I think, or a... Toyota Tacoma, one of the bigger ve truck vehicles, or a Chevy Camaro. And he decided to do the Chevy Camaro because he's like, well, I've always wanted to drive one. Let's see how it is. It was the most stinking uncomfortable car in the world. We went out on a date that night. It was so stinking uncomfortable. I hated it. I hated it. I had to fall down into the seats and then I had to like squat myself to like get up out of the thing. I was like, nah, nah. This, whatever, you know, I, I am about comfort and ease. Like I've taken enough road trips. Okay. You need to be comfortable. You need to be comfortable. Um, comfort over style, I guess it would, is what it would be. Um, but yeah, it just, oh, I hated that car. And they, they took that out. They both came back and they were like, that was the most ridiculous road trip that we ever took. We are never getting this again. So the next time we did it, they ended up getting a, was it a Nissan Titan? I think it was a Nissan Titan. Maybe it was a Toyota Tacoma. I, I can't remember. Once again, it was one of the bigger, bigger truck vehicles and we caught it at the economy price, which was really great. Okay. So they took it and they were like, that was really nice, but gas guzzler. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then what other ones did they get? I want to say they got something just normal, um, one time. And then the past two times they've gotten now the, the minivan and we've, we really, we really like the minivan. The minivan one is, is really, really nice. So, um, but we're using this opportunity to test out all these different vehicles to really, in a way, um, see what kind of a vehicle we would like to to purchase um and stuff so i haven't done these doodle boxes in a long time so we're gonna do them this time that is what we're gonna do beautiful lifting love it um 
So everybody is in favor for this hybrid minivan um, and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen. We might end up having ourselves another minivan um, and stuff. But I mean, we have four kids. It's a smaller van than what our current van is. Right now we drive a Ford Transit passenger van like it carries what 12 people yeah it's a it's a it's a big van okay um and we love it it's so comfortable on road trips and whatnot but I mean we've had it for a while and the kids are you know the kids want something shiny and new and we need something and we're just we're just looking at like cost and how long these vehicles last um type of thing so that's that's kind of currently what we're at um and whatnot so yeah it's been it's been fun and exciting times um driving this but we went driving around a lot this weekend oh, it was so much fun that vehicle is so super comfortable i am so amazed at the comfortability of that van i was like yeah i can rock this i can rock this and you know my i was driving my husband was sitting in the passenger seat and we got to a four-way stop and i am so such a mom so I was turning left and these people were coming coming straight and I got into the stop sign well well before them so like the whole right away type thing like we didn't get there at the same time they start pulling out thinking it's their their turn to go I stopped in the middle of the intersection and I pointed my fingers at them <laughs> and I was like no it's not your turn to go <laughs> uh, yeah I'm um, I'm, and when I say that I got there like way, way, I got there way, way before them. So yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was funny. It was funny. Um, but they, uh, they just like looked at me and my husband is like, really Amanda? Really? And I was like, I am a mom and I will wag my finger at you and tell you no, that you can't do that because people need to know. <laughs> so but four-way stops, I hate four-way stops. I mean, I, uh, I know that I don't. Do well, that was quite rude. I just looked up and I saw that my camera wasn't filming. So, um, I had laid down some stickers. But I know I don't adhere to all the rules of a four-way stop. But what I was saying is, um, I just have some patience now. I didn't used to have patience. But I definitely have patience now. And part of that is because... Um, we were coming out of our neighborhood and down the street, um, what was it, Friday night? I think it was Friday night. Um, and oh, I hate that street when everybody's coming home from work because it, it definitely gets congested and gross and, and everything. And we come up. And we're like, man, what's going on? Why is all this traffic trying to, to do stuff? And why is our side slowing down? And then we see that there's an accident. And it was a four-car pileup on just like a standard normal road. And it's because people aren't paying attention. They want to get home. They're following too close. And I'm just like, nope. I will I will keep my following distance. I will just I will just be on my merry way. I would rather be late then rushing it to try and um, get somewhere and possibly get into an accident. So yeah, I just take my, I just take my dear sweet time now. Um, but no, it was funny. I did wag my finger at him. Um, and I don't have any regrets about that because sometimes just people are, 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 are rude um, on the road. And I didn't, I didn't have any babies in the car, but you know what? I've actually done that many, many a times to people, especially, you know, in, at four way stops where even if I'm turning and it's the other way going the other direction and they, um, are like, oh, well I'm going, I'll slow down and like wag my finger at them. Cause I'm like, you can't go when somebody is in the intersection like that. I'm like, just chill, man just chill that's all you need to do is just chill it's not not that big of a deal but four-way stops are just i think they're just the bane of everybody's existence i think people would just be happier if a stoplight was put in 
because then the stoplight can tell them when to go. <laughs> just, just saying, just saying. But, but yeah, we had a fun time out Friday night and exploring the town. We go out and exploring. I mean, we don't know. Eh, we've kind of visited a lot of stuff here in town. We usually end up going exploring down by the university. So we have quite a few actual colleges and universities here um, in this little city. And it's fun to go down there and, and watch like what's happening and seeing what's going on and seeing if like, there's any other little festivals happening. It's always a good time. It's always a really fun time. That's for sure. So that's kind of what we went to go. Let's do this number. It's kind of what we went to go out and do. Um, grab some dinner and just kind of just enjoy company. That's it. Nothing, nothing spectacular, spectacular, but you know, still fun nonetheless. But yeah, um, and we did that knowing that one, it was Labor Day weekend and we could go do that um, before the busyness of everything starts. <laughs> I know, I've got messages coming in left and right that as soon as I'm done with this video, I will start answering because because yeah, they're, they're, they're messages left and right. So, but let's see, what else, what else is on the docket for this week? I'm trying to think like, what has happened? I am really, really bad at this. Um, oh, as we were, what I was also going to say is the other night as we were, um, heading out um, to go return the rental car. So that's kind of where the story was going. As we were going out to return the rental car, um, I open up the door and I hear this buzzing sound close by and I know it's a cicada and I know that it's like trying to fly around, but I can't like catch it with my vision. I can't see what the heck is going on. And I am zoomed out way too far. I'm sorry, get back to where we are supposed to be. And so I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? Where is it? And then I see it at my feet and it starts like jumping up onto my feet and my legs. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And remember how in my last video I talked about how uh, fears are not rational? Same goes with bugs. Um, if you have a fear of any type of bugs, it's not a rational fear. I get that I am bigger than them. I get that. It doesn't negate the fact that they bother me like a lot <laughs> um, and my kids like to make fun of me and so I started like shaking and stuff like oh ah. and I turn around and my teenage son my 17 year old is there mocking me mocking me like no other oh my gosh it was he's so mean oh my gosh teenagers are so mean they're so mean I was like I don't ever remember being like this as a teenager I'm like you are so mean and he's just like uh like oh you're shaking oh yeah it was so not cool he's so not cool so not cool but yeah so that happened there and he's mocking me but the cicada flies in they think they get it out it flies back in and this time and i had this happen not too long ago where it flew at me which was ridiculous that it flew at me again and i'm just like why why are we uh do i have enough three six ten eleven twelve thirteen. oh i don't have enough Let's see, what can we do? Okay, we'll figure this out. I kind of messed this one up many moons ago. Because um, I didn't quite think that I wanted to do the layout that I had been doing. And then realized I did want to keep doing the layout that I was doing. Anyways. I did. Oh. Uh, so, it comes flying and it comes flying straight at me. And it one of the cicada a couple weeks ago did the same thing. I got out of the out of the van late at 
late at night and I could hear it and it came flying and I it barely missed me barely missed me as it went barreling into as it went barreling into the uh, garage door and man did that thing thunk against the garage door loud and I was like what the heck did the same thing comes at me so I start like shaking screaming because once again fears are not rational and I end up running into the couch smacking my knee into the couch and yeah it just was not not a good time I clearly do not have my wits about me um okay so using those half boxes there kind of ruined me out on some of this okay we got, we got this. I'm not gonna end up being able to do the layout I like, but we're gonna get this figured out. So, let's see, what do I have here? What can I use? Okay, so I do have these and they will fit in this area, okay? They're gonna fit in this area. We're good on that. On that but I won't have one extra which okay that is what it is I think I'm just gonna end up leaving a blank for now well I don't know I don't know what we'll do okay so we'll do this here we'll leave that one blank maybe what I do is I stack two of these what do I say about that? Do I just do this number? Let me just stack two of these together. Does that work? That works. I'm not gonna be overly picky about it. Wow, we are just clearing up the sheets today. So, yeah, so he's making fun of me as I'm running. And so, of course, then I need to go use the restroom. Then he's got it on his, his, uh, hand and he brings it up to me and I squeal and then he's inside the house and he pretends to throw it at me so I squeal again I was like man teenagers are mean and I get it he's getting such a rise out of me that he's not gonna stop that he's not gonna stop and my husband is just laughing my kids are like what's going on why is mommy acting so crazy yeah um because because your brother is torturing my 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 sanity by pretending to to throw a bug at me okay so this is the part where we don't have anything to use and this so are we going to be able to use two of these i think so if we if we do it right and by do it right meaning just space things okay yes perfect so yeah, um, he tortured me by that and I got in the car and then drove away. Mind you, a lot of this was at like 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. So I know people were asleep, were starting to sleep and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scream. I just, fear overtook, overtook me, overtook me. It's almost like the whole like falling out of your chair like it just happens, okay? It just happens, you can't control it. And kids are mean. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it to them. They will probably have some of the best memories and being like, and then don't you remember that time we tortured you with like pretending we were throwing a cicada at you? And by that point, my old brain will be like, no, nah, I don't remember that. And of course, I'm sure by that point, their stories are going to be well exaggerated because let's face it, um, well exaggerated stories um, later on in life are some of the best stories. Not that I'm exaggerating any stories. I'm not exaggerating stories. Like, give me a break there. I don't want to exaggerate stories. Okay, maybe I do just a um, smidgen, but I promise it's not a lot. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, he is, he is my bug guy. He loves bugs. He has loved bugs since he was a kid, like a little bitty kid. Um, oh, are we done? I think we are. He loves bugs. So that's what he does. Oh, we are. 
man, I got into laying down stickers and was just like, let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be this upcoming week. And then we have all of September laid out. I'm sorry for my camera cutting off in the middle of it. That was very, very rude of it. Um, I did have my charger. I've got a charger right here plugged into it. And I think we get these just random surges sometimes. Um, not anything that will do anything crazy, but enough to stop my camera. So anyways, all right. Um, if you never got this palette, you'll be able to get this palette during vault sale that happens in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I think that's it. So you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.